So you want to create an ideal introduction and you've gained attention, you've introduced your thesis, you've related your topic to the audience. What's next? Answer this question. Why you? Why should we listen to you? Who are you? Right? Who is this person telling me this and why should I listen to them? You need to share your credibility with us. Why are you credible as a speaker? What is it about you and your experience that should lead the audience to trust you and the information that you're sharing? Now, this could be something simple, such as what you're studying in college or your work experience, or maybe even some individual experience that you've had in your life. For example, if you're giving a speech on language disorders and you grew up with verbal apraxia, share that with us to the degree you're comfortable because that life experience will make you a more credible speaker. If you are giving a speech on milking goats as one of my favorite students topics, goats, show us you giving the speech with the goats. It builds credibility. What your audience wants to see is that you're credible on the topic. And if you can help them see that in the introduction, it's gonna go a long way in helping you communicate your message during the speech. If you're looking for the final fifth step in the magical formula of creating ideal speech introductions, subscribe to my channel and find out more tech tips.